Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was told that your agency had some 1 to 24,000 color infrared of that area. Oh, you have flown it? Great. Sure, I can hold a minute. Yes? No, that won't work. Thanks for your trouble anyway. Say, do you know of anybody else I might be able to uh, call about this? No, I've tried both of them already. Sure, and thanks again. Well, we'll let you know if we come up with anything, too. Thanks. Well, they've flown the area, but it turns out it's in black and white only, and uh, it's got some snow cover. So it looks like that won't work. Why can't the government get its act together and fly coast-to-coast -to -coast coverage that everybody can use? You know, it seems like that one area is entirely missed, and the next area has been flown by everybody. We could sure use a better system. Trying to obtain aerial photos with the right coverage and quality can cost an agency valuable time and money. Recognizing the need for a single, comprehensive program, several federal agencies joined together to build a photographic database of the conterminous United States. The photography for that new program would have to be cloud-free, quad-centered, of cartographic quality, color infrared and black and white, economical, consistent, reliable, and recent. It's uh, very advantageous for us to have coverage by state. For this particular case, about 12% difference in cost. Do you agree with those dates on there for the years? Yep. In 1978, a series of interagency planning sessions was held to develop this new concept in aerial photography. The National High Altitude Photography Program, NHAP. Beginning in 1980, contractor-flown aerial photos were obtained at scales of 1 to 58,000 for color infrared and 1 to 80,000 for black and white panchromatic. By 1985, most of the conterminous United States had been flown and contracts had been signed to complete the rest. Since the first NHAP products became available, the number of users has been growing dramatically because users are finding that there are a number of things that you can count on with NHAP products, like quality. All NHAP photographs must be cloud-free with minimal atmospheric haze to ensure sharp, clear images. You can count on quad-centered, stereoscopic quality. NHAP flight lines are centered on USGS 7.5-minute quadrangles. And all NHAP photos have approximately 60% overlap to give you optimal stereoscopic viewing. Count on minimal shadowing. NHAP images are acquired during the midday hours. Count on NHAP's sharp, cartographic quality. From the NHAP database, count on consistent, quality products. Images are available in any requested enlargement. Of special interest are 1 to 24,000 scale prints that correspond to 1 to 24,000 scale USGS topographic maps. You can count on NHAP products that are recent. The first cycle of NHAP coverage began in 1980. But most importantly, count on NHAP's availability. The entire database is laid out in a user-friendly indexed microfiche system. It's all at your fingertips. With NHAP products, you can count on timely delivery so your data isn't outdated before you receive it. Most NHAP products are shipped within three weeks of receiving an order, thanks to a full-time production system. And orders remain on track from the time they are received until the time they're shipped. NHAP products can be ordered from either of two national distribution centers the Eros Data Center in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, or the Aerial Photography Field Office in Salt Lake City, Utah. Inquiries and orders can also be made at any National Cartographic Information Center or its state affiliate. Long before the first national coverage cycle was complete, 
These federal agencies proved that NHAP was well conceived. But more multi-agency support is needed. Budget constraints for the first NHAP cycle stretch the goal for national coverage beyond five years. The NHAP Steering Committee wants to set up firm five-year cycles for repetitive national coverage. With the first cycle of the NHAP database now nearly complete, plans for the second are well underway. But the goal of five-year national coverage can only be reached if more agencies participate in the program. Can NHAP count on your agency's support? <laughs>